I believe in honesty and trust But that's not enough For all that I believe May never change the way it is Unless I believe that Jesus lives Where there is faith There is a voice calling my sermon for Saturday. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna set people free and deliver them. Colin, this is for you. I love Zimbabwe. Women are very special to God. We were at a women's conference, the King's Daughters Conference, but it's also amazing how many issues women sit with. And I realize Jesus is the answer to your issues. And it's only by the word of God. And oh, we just had a lovely time. The people are awesome, awesome, awesome. The spirits are very open. I mean, how lovely. If you, you see after each and every time the, the service went on, after the service, the response from them mm. to say like they receive the word but then of course like Annalise said I mean there's a lot of things that people sit on but all they need is the word yeah we, the word needs to to, to go out yeah the women, <laughs> yeah women I think all around the world have a lot of issues mm -hmm. and uh, the only way to get rid of those issues is to get into the word because it's no man that can deliver them it's only the word that can deliver them because the word is the written word of God yeah and uh, instead of going to a psychiatrist, mm -hmm. get into the Word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, recommend for every woman <laughs> that is here, besides reading the whole Bible, read the pro one proverb a day because it's 31, mm -hmm. 31 days in a month, mm -hmm. and read five Psalms a day. And David was liberated by, re uh, by composing those Psalms. So definitely these women can find their own liberation <laughs> by yeah, yeah. the Word of God. What is so amazing Amen. to me is like nothing you ever do for God is in vain. Yeah, and definitely. you come here and you walk into years and years mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. plowing behind the scenes and people just come and open up and mm -hmm. accept. But mm -hmm. I pray that there'll be more a hunger for the word because mm -hmm. it's the word that mm -hmm. changes you. Saturday, you ministered on condemnation from Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Uh, there is that now therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Absolutely powerful message because what it does is set the foundations of understanding in terms of our relationship um, uh, with God. All that glitters is not gold. It's, it's what's inside. It's what inside. Listen, the outside will come right if what inside is right. 
If you try to get it right from the outside, the inside's going to rot. You got it right from the inside and then it's got its way of working out. It's grace and truth. And many people go for grace and they want to leave the truth out. We've heard a lot here and I realize that this church is a church where things must be in order and things must be right and, and I like that. Because, you know, we can't just run for God and yet our characters fall apart and we want to be the big speakers. We've got to check our characters and our doctrine. So you, the minute you leave truth out, you fall out of grace. Jesus went up the Mount of Olives. <laughs> Moses went up the Mount of Moses. But Jesus went up the Mount of Anointing. And we get to see how the anointing will crack up this law of Moses that is forever wanting us to want to be something you are not. If you can't sing, please don't sing. So we don't have to listen to it. If you can't prophesy, shut up. Celebrate the ones that can. If you can't preach, so what? God knows you. He doesn't just know you. He loves you. He loves you. Do you know what? He loved you before you even knew he loved you. So he's not interested in what you do wrong. He loves you anyway. We've got to get out of this law. So what God did, he called Moses and he created a world, a world of the law in order to harness death, not to be able to reign. But it did not take care of the conscience of man. It harnessed death. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. So every year they were offering and saying, oh are we going to keep this death intact? But while they do it, they know I, can't, I can never be free. Because everybody that had conscious sin, the law of Moses said, stone him. They couldn't keep the law. So Moses' law was added as a schoolmaster to take them to Christ. But in the spirit, he was crucified before the foundation of the world, at the end of the world, once in the spirit. I don't care where you are and what age you are and what your circumstances, if you step up and you can see that Christ on the cross forever. That's why Paul says, I will know nothing except Christ and Him crucified. It's Christians all over. We grab to God, but we keep holding on to what we come out of. God is not interested where you come out. He's interested where you're going. God is going for God inside of you. The outside. Use your brains and get it right. Go back to condemnation. The person that would go back, leave this for this. There's something wrong in your top story. But wait, the best is here to come. He says here, Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence with God. You lack confidence with God, get out of your condemning heart. If our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and He knows all things. On Sunday, you, I think, thought you, you were going to go a little bit different, but um, it seems that the Lord kept on steering you uh, back, even though now you were concentrating on hope. <laughs> um, but the Lord had you still go back there. I have messages right now 
uh, from the UK, I have messages from Italy of people who have written in uh, to say how blessed they were, uh, people that were watching wow. via our live stream service. Um, whenever we bring in someone, we're not bringing in someone to come and uh, rehash or uh, just say or bring in the dimension of ministry that we are. We bring in a dimension that we are not because only wow. then do the people benefit. The world can see for themselves the impact, the influence and the power of what was ministered. Already testimonies are coming in mm. and like I said, it's, it's, it's been an absolutely awesome weekend. Wow. Wow. Thank you. I believe you kept it on Sunday when you spoke about Jesus being the hope of glory. This conference was themed the glory of a woman. Yeah. <laughs> so when you brought that aspect of Jesus being the yeah. hope of glory, that just kept it. Oh no, Sundays. Oh, this is our problem. It's Sunday. Who, when I get this dress on, I'm holy. Then I go to work and then I'm at home. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's Christ in you. Christ goes to work with you. So your hope goes to work with you. When trouble strikes, and I'm standing in front of an open grave, Christ went to that with me. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Why do we throw our hope out? In other words, we go through stuff alone, and we, we forget to hope on Christ. Christ in me. He's in me. But there's something else that must happen. Because when Christ is in me, I think, my heart beats, my nerves give direction. But when I go into Christ, it's His direction. It's His heartbeat. It's His impulses, not mine. So we have to go, we have to work out to get from in me to in him this is the biggest two words that can ever be written on the face of the planet Amen. to be in christ you're not going to get to being in christ if you can't keep christ within you that is your hope why have you lost your hope, the prophet said last night. Why have we got our eyes on other things? Why do you think God cannot take you out of your situation? But the just shall live by faith. Go quickly with me to Romans 14. Isn't the word awesome, guys? Yeah. Romans 1:14. He said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. You are saved, but out, is, out of His fullness, you are saved by grace. But out of the fullness, you are saved from grace to grace. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of full salvation. Let's go on. It says to everyone but believers, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Guys, from faith to faith. And the end of my faith is the salvation of my soul. Do you get it? Here it is. So we all know our spirits are born again. Our souls are now surely taken care of because this brings salvation. So surely this must bring, oh sorry for this one, this brings salvation. So it's from salvation to salvation, from righteousness to righteousness. But we forget this peace between is hope. Hebrews 12. We foresee that we have composed with such a great cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily beset us. Let us run 
with patience the race that is set before us oh uh, yeah of course now we're all running to win <laughs> and before you you are slacking down oh uh, we are forever in competition we are forever in putting ourselves in a place where the devil can use condemnation on us guys 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 he says <laughs> many run the race but only one win only one win so why do I run if you're gonna win? We have a forerunner that has already won the prize for us. It went right beyond the veil. He already got the crown of life. Run that you may lay hold on the prize, not win the prize. The original says, run that you may lay hold. He says, run the race that is set before you. Your appointed race is not your race. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if, it's a, if you're in the same family. Every person has his own race. Run the race that is set before you. Do you know how you must run? This is what my husband taught me. Look away from all that will distract but looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of your Amen. Amen. brother I'm so grateful you're in this race with me but my eyes are on Jesus thank you for what thank you for the strength and the warmth you give me but I'm not looking to you I'm looking to Jesus There is no man on earth that can finish my faith, that can give me the crown of life. So why are we looking? Look away from distraction by looking. How do you look to Christ? I can't see him. Can you see him? <laughs> That's exactly what you do. You look away from everything that comes your way and in the spirit. Yeah, but you don't know what they do to me. I told you I don't want to know. I pray that there'll be more a hunger for the word because yeah. it's the word that yeah. changes you. But we had such a great time. I'll never forget the matopos. <laughs> oh, I'm at home. I didn't know what to expect. But I thought I'm going to see nine rocks, mm -hmm. one on top of the other. Why not? Auntie Annalise mm -hmm. will uh, do her video, mm -hmm. and that was it. But we saw kilometers and kilometers and of kilometers of the most stunning <laughs> beautiful rocks you'd ever see on the face <laughs> of the earth but it was so awesome but you just called me auntie annalise auntie I mean, sister. <laughs> 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 let me stand on the mountain top the storm blows over and i'm still standing here Oh, set my feet on the solid rock Let me stand on the mountain top Till the storm blows over And I'm still standing here Here we go! Set my feet on the solid rock Let me stand on the mountain top Till the storm blows over And I'm still standing here Set my feet on the solid rock hide his soul in the cleft of the rock and every time you come to rocks and you see an overhang like this you know that this is the most amazing thing about human beings we're so strong oh, yeah. you know the men they all show they're strong but yeah. i'm telling you don't underestimate women yeah. yes. <laughs> but you know when it comes to the weather comes up or the night falls, mm. this is the most amazing thing. When it becomes dark, mm. you need the shelter. Yes. Right. And it doesn't matter how strong you think you are. Yeah. You need God. Amen. And if we can just look at our own nature and see mm. how we run for shelter, yeah. I would suggest that you run to God, not Amen. from God. Amen. Run right into the cleft mm. of the rock. You know, when he speaks about the cleft of the rock, it's where... Um, 
They needed water in the desert. Mm -hmm. yes. And God said, go stand in front of the rock. Mm -hmm. and I will cleave the rock. And that is Christ. Ladies, mm -hmm. build your life yes. on the firm foundation. Yes. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the firm <laughs> yes. foundation. Amen. Amen. Don't build your life on fantasies, yes. Amen. on wishes and hopes, no, 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 because no. they disappear, they yes. disintegrate. Yes. But there is one rock, yes. solid rock, yes. immovable rock. Yes. Amen. Come rain, come sunshine, hopes. Yes. It will never be disintegrated. Yes. It will remain the same. Yes. The name is Jesus, Jesus. Yes. the rock of ages. Yes. 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 Girls, Hallelujah. don't sit Waters. out there yeah. and cry about your circumstances. Yes. I know right. the heat is hot. Yeah. Find the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Run to Amen. the rock. Absolutely. And you'll have streams in the desert. Yes. You'll have Dream the desert turn water. into a paradise. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? In the spirit, this is what God has for you. Don't yes. settle for anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 So you know what we have? Amen. We have the spirit word here. Yes. We have the river of life here. Yes. And we have the firm foundation oh. here. for not having my seatbelt on at the back. I forgive him. Okay, well, it's just been so great um, traveling with Annelies. I feel I'm such a very privileged person because you know what, I mean, it's not just somebody that just started the ministry. It's people that have got like God behind their lives. You know, that's like as soon as you realize that you've been put with them, there's one thing that you know, you know that they're walking with God, you know that like, their whole life, their entire life has been dedicated to God. I mean, just when we came in here, the airport, I mean, these people, she, she doesn't wait for a camera to catch her. She sees one person, I think, that we, I remember the first guy that we met, we were dropping by a car that we, we, we rented, you know, for the trip. But then, while we're still packing the bags, there Annalise start praying for the guy, you know. It, it, it says something to me to say like, it's not about television, it's not about how we can, they can just, it's the lives that are dedicated to God and that can touch people. And then again, I think when we were just having our little snacks and breakfast, you know, and then there she goes again. I mean, we, we're going to go buy something. When we, she come, when we come back, where's the camera? We go quickly, get the camera. Not for that, but the, the, you must hear the story behind the way they touch people to say wherever they go whether it's in the airport whether we're waiting we're eating breakfast whether we're doing anything it's why because the ministry it's part of their life it's not a job it's like it's part of the calling it's part of everything thanks to you um, you brought in and ushered in a, a dimension of ministry which uh, we all appreciated um, and uh, which is going to stay with us, you know, uh, for a long time. It's grace and truth. And many people go for grace and they want to leave the truth out. We've heard a lot here and I realized that this church is a church where things must be in order and things must be right. And, and I like that because, you know, we can't just run for God and yet our characters fall apart and we want to be the big speakers. We've got to check our characters and our doctrine. I've seen a church that is disciplined and trained and it's not flaky. It's not, you know, you can't just come in and you just do your thing because you feel like doing it. There's a road to walk. And that is why I have literally stood up and asked this church if they would be praying for Spirit Word Channel. That of the will of the Holy Spirit. Right now, I speak into the airwaves. I prophesy into the waves of the air right around the continent of the world. That right now, even in places where the satellite broadcast is not supposed to be caught, that it shall be caught in the name of Jesus. You are a God that knows no boundaries. You are a God that knows no limits. We need prayers more than anything else because 
the more I travel Africa, the more I know we're reaching Africa and it's got to go deeper, it's got to go higher, it's got to go wider. Father, I want to give you thanks and praise. And I pray for the reach of this channel mm. in all the parts of the continents, yes. in Africa, yes. into the Muslim Open world, the into the world where men and women are either in religion, mm. where they think they have a relationship with you, but mm. do not have the essence of you. Mm. I pray that your presence through the, this channel would reach into every home, into every office, over every uh, device by which men and women watch you. Yes. May your power be demonstrated through this channel into every uh, 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 home and place where people listen and watch this channel. Thank you. May healing come through. Yes. May deliverance come through. Yes. May men and women be born again. Yes. May people testify not mm. because of the trappings mm. of this channel, mm. but yes. because of the power Amen. of the presence Amen. of the grace Amen. and the truth that Amen. comes come and on. reaches yes. out into every home yes. every day that men tune in. Mm. I pray right now that as people tune in throughout all the yes. world, yes. that they will will seek for the reality of Jehovah and not for any performances yes. nor any uh, entertainment. Yes. Father, be glorified yes, in Lord. every home in yes. the Amen. name of yes. Jesus. Yes. As you use the leadership of this ministry, yes. as you use uh, uh, Pastor Annelise yes. and yes. everyone yes. else that is involved yes. in Jesus. the programming and every aspect of the uh, management and administration of this channel, I thank you for divine wisdom, Amen. divine favor, divine Amen. increase, divine Amen. abundance, Amen. divine acceleration on, into Lord. what you are doing yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus. Yes. It is decreed and it is done now amen. in yes. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Very much. Can I